Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you all for being here this morning. My name is John Munger. I'm joined here by my law partner, Adrian Parsons. Our law firm, Munger Chadwick, are attorneys who represent Terry Bennett, who's here with me today. Terry Bennett is a woman who has lived in Tucson for almost 20 years. Terry has been studying for the last two years nursing at the uh, Pima College. Uh, she, since 2000, she's been enrolled in various courses at Pima College, but undertook the nursing program in particular about two years ago. She's virtually a straight-A student. She has been making excellent progress in the nursing program in particular. In the course of her work, she has earned already the Certificate in Nursing Assistant, the Patient uh, Care Technician Certificate, and as part of her progress towards finally becoming certified as a practical nurse, Terry has been an extraordinary student and has been progressing well in all of her endeavors. Terry pays Pima College for this coursework. But in April uh, of this year, Terry had been participating in a class called Introduction to Nursing at Pima College as part of her all, overall coursework. Terry had been assigned lab and study groups of six to nine students uh, to work with as part of her course curriculum. This was very, this was very typical of the uh, coursework that she had previously undertaken and in which she had had no problems previously. However, in this instance, many of the students in the course and in her study and lab groups began to insist on conducting the study groups in a language other than English. Terry, frankly, does not speak any language but English. Uh, she believes the other students were speaking in Spanish, but frankly, the exact language that the students were speaking is not relevant to Terry. Regardless of the language being spoken, she could not understand it. As the course proceeded, Terry began to be frustrated she was frustrated that she was not able to participate in her study groups and labs as part of her coursework. Increasingly, this impeded her ability to learn and to gain knowledge which she was paying to obtain at Pima College. Likewise, during the coursework, students sitting in front of her or around her in class were repeatedly discussing back and forth in a foreign language, I think was Spanish, the instructor's lectures and discussing those lectures, Terry found that this was extremely disruptive to her, not only for the noise, but because of the uh, interruption in a foreign language. It affected negatively Terry's ability to concentrate and learn in her nursing curriculum. Now, in an effort to rectify this problem, Terry did exactly what any responsible person would do. She followed the protocols for addressing problems at Pima College by asking for an appointment with the director of the nursing program, Mr. Kutzler. She asked him to discuss these issues, hopefully in a rational and fair way. However, when Terry did meet with Mr. Kutzler, who is the head of the nursing program, and explained her problem, she was immediately attacked by Mr. Kutzler. She explained that she believed that her education was being impeded by the constant disruption of the class by students speaking a language other than English, and that she was unable to participate in the labs and study groups because she did not understand the language that was being spoken in those study groups and labs. She asked that the administration help to solve this problem and to have English spoken in the study groups and labs and in the classroom so that she could understand what was being said and so, so that she could participate as a full-time student in the programs that she was paying for at Pima College. But the result of this reasonable request was outrageous. Instead of listening to Terry's legitimate concerns, the administrator be, uh, proceeded to call Terry a racist and a bigot. He told her that she needed to quit complaining 
or she would never get a job. After several minutes of these outrageous allegations, accusations, and attacks, and completely surprised and offended at these attacks, Terry finally broke down in tears and had to leave the room. But she didn't give up then. Terry tried again to resolve this problem in a reasonable and rational way by going to a higher level in administration. Specifically, Terry went to Vice President Ann Parker at the college. Again, however, instead of attempting to resolve the problem, Vice President Parker told Terry that she, Terry, was now going to be investigated. Worse, Ann Parker told Terry that Terry had to prove that Terry was not a racist by making these allegations, and specifically that she had to go gather letters from her friends to prove that she was not a racist. The upshot was that within about two weeks of stating her concerns that her education was being impeded by the constant speaking of Spanish or foreign languages study groups and in class, Terry was expelled from Pima College and the nursing program for the remainder of this year. Indeed, she was not just asked to leave, but she was in fact physically confronted by six armed police officers when she arrived on campus on April 22nd. At that time and in front of the public and in front of her classmates and peers, she was handed her suspension papers and ordered to leave the campus under threat of armed force. Immediately thereafter, Terry's classmates were told that Pima College had had to suspend her, implying strongly that Terry had done something wrong. Further, Terry has learned that Pima College has caused Terry's federal financial aid to be terminated, thus ending any opportunity Terry may have to obtain further education from the federal government. At this point, Terry's academic record has been ruined, and all of her efforts over the years to become a practical nurse have been destroyed. There is no other program available to her in Pima County and likely with the outrageous allegations of racism on her record, she will probably never be able to achieve her goals. She has been defamed and put in a false light for the rest of her life. All because she asked through proper protocol, mind you, that the classes be conducted in English the only language she understands. In undertaking these outrageous acts against Terry, Pima College has violated the law in many ways. First, Pima College has violated Article 28 of the Arizona Constitution, which states that English is the official language of the state. This incidentally is a provision that exists in 31 states across the country. It is not unique to Arizona. This provision requires that all state institutions, including Pima College, quote, preserve, protect, and enhance the role of the English language. Article 28 also expressly prohibits Pima College from penalizing Terry or any other person from using English. Yet this is exactly what Pima College has done. They have punished Terry for trying to enforce her right to have courses taught in English so that she can understand them. They have discriminated against her because she speaks only English. And they have harassed her and retaliated against her for seeking enforcement of her rights. Just as outrageously, Pima College has also violated Terry's right of free speech specifically her right to address and express her views, even though she did this through the proper channels as dictated by Pima College itself. She has been punished and harassed for speaking her views, and now her academic and chosen career goals have been tarnished beyond repair. Obviously, all of this has been extremely traumatic for Terry. 
She has suffered long-term and irreversible effects on her studies, her ability to get a job, to obtain financial aid to continue her studies, and her reputation is in ruins, having been unjustly labeled as a racist. Today, just this morning, we have filed suit in Superior Court of the State of Arizona in the County of Pima to bring charges against Pima College to rectify once and for all these wrongs. We have provided you a copy of the civil complaint we have filed this morning. We will vigorously and zealously pursue this matter until justice is finally given to Terry Bennett and Pima College makes things right.